So when I emerged from my valley of darkness, I found the line by the poet and Sufi mystic Rumi that so beautifully encapsulated one of my major lessons. And he says, yesterday I was clever, so I tried to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. And I think the global healing movement would benefit greatly from each one of us doing the work that we each need to do on ourselves, for ourselves, to move from that clever to wise, to really prioritize our healing, our growth and our own evolution, not from a place of selfishness, but to recognize that is my highest act of care and compassion for myself and for all around me. You know, I feel like that for me helped me transition from the savior that I thought I was you know, with the superwoman cape on, I'm off to save the world, to saying, no, my my role is to be my most healed, best version of myself and be a North Star for someone during their own dark night of the soul so that they too may find their way back to oneness and back to wholeness. Um, And so it's really how to how to bring it home for each one of us, knowing very profoundly that you cannot heal the world if you're deeply traumatized. And you cannot bring down systems of prejudice and oppression if you despise yourself. And you cannot bring global peace if you have a conflict raging within. So it really, we are the, 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 you know, the microcosm reflected in the macrocosm. And so, you know, Do you look after you, you know, especially if you are in a position of leadership, especially if you are that someone who's there to be a healing, meant to be a healing presence. Do that work because that is the surest way to be able to energize and uplift and heal everyone else around. Mm -hmm. 